Hello, Chef here. So many people have asked us, how do you cut frozen food? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, there's a couple of ways. First of all, this is a frozen negative 30 degrees chunk of soup. So if you want to divide your soup or your meat or whatever items and they're frozen rock hard, you need a butcher saw. This one's stainless steel, works pretty well. You simply take the... Uh, I'm using a safety glove, by the way. You just take the saw and you go back and forth like this. And it's not that hard. And now you have two portions of your frozen food, whatever it might be. In this case, it's bean soup. Two portions. If you prefer, you can put one back in the freezer or both back in the freezer and you're good to go. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and some people wonder, well, okay, bean soup, it's, it's not that hard to cut, right? Frozen water bottle. Uh, negative uh, Fahrenheit, very, very cold. So you get going with your saw, and uh, if it's good quality, it's only gonna take you a few seconds to get through your frozen food. There you go. Thanks for watching the video. Please support your sponsor. You can score all the items there. Have a great day. Today I'm reviewing a few of the common butchering tools for you. Uh, butchers use these every day and you can score a few too. Uh, first and most important, you have a boning knife. This is a curved, stiff boning knife. Second, sharpening steel. You just give it a quick couple strokes like this while you're working. It's always at your side. Uh, third would be a more flexible boning knife. Uh, this is a five inch, this is a six inch. Very common for butchers, okay? Uh, next would be a bone saw. This is stainless steel, high quality. You're looking for rivets, very durable. Uh, a quick snap, and you can remove the blade. Uh, removing the blade allows you to do a few things like clean it, as well as uh, replace the blade. And you just give it a little pull. Uh, you need a quality butcher saw. Oh, and two more uh, butchering items that are very essential, cleavers. Uh, it's recommended you get a nice, heavy cleaver. This one's okay, and the quality's okay. Uh, you'll find it to be good for limited uses. Eventually, you may end up nicking the blade or something, but that's okay. It's decent for the price. This cleaver is super high quality, made in Japan, very heavy duty. I think this will last you for a lifetime. So it depends what you're looking for as to which cleaver you might score. But anyway, when you're butchering, you gotta have yourself a good cleaver.